can see all of the slippers from all of the people who uh, come here from day to day. <laughs> this is the uh, basically the, the enormous dining room in this house, and a very futuristic or I guess modern looking kitchen. Um, and here is, from what I understood, uh, basically it, it, this tells you how much electricity is being generated by the photovoltaic panels that make up the home's roof. And because today is a fairly cloudy day in Japan, uh, I believe today's uh, generation is only half a kilowatt. Um, these panels, I am told, uh, are able to produce 14 kilowatts, which is about three times what a normal uh, solar panel array would be on a normal home in Japan or even in the United States. Uh, but despite the fact that it has a potential uh, to create about uh, 14 or generate 14 kilowatts of energy, today it's only 0.4. And uh, so that means that today... Uh, this home is actually buying about 4.3 kilowatts of energy from the power company that is burning carbon. So today, unfortunately, the zero emissions home is not living up to its name. But other days, I am told, when it is sunny outside, uh, it does live up to its name and uh, it balances out in the end, apparently. Uh, and uh, it actually generates more electricity than it consumes on some days. I'm going to show you, I'm going to skip a few things and show you one of my favorite things in this house. And it's actually uh, in the bathroom. Come on in. This is, as you can see, a washer dryer machine. Um, that's not very interesting or exciting. The exciting thing about this is that this is a waterless washer and dryer machine, meaning that it uses no water to wash your clothes. You put your clothes in here, you shut the door, you turn it on, and this uh, machine, this is a, a washer machine used by, or created by Sanyo, this uses ozone to clean your clothes. It basically uses ozone to get the dirt uh, or any debris off of your clothes through a cycle. And uh, I guess uh, after about an hour, it's finished. So that's one of the most interesting things about this home is, is this type of technology. And you find this type of technology all over the home. It's a, it's a kind of cutting edge Japanese technology. Uh, let's see, another thing that really has nothing to do with carbon, but nonetheless kind of exhibits the uh, Japanese uh, kind of obsession with robots is they decided to put a SEAL robot in this zero emissions home. It has nothing to do with the fact that there's zero emissions. Actually, it's, it's actually plugged in, so it's actually uh, con consuming electricity. It's probably not doing such a great job as far as zero emissions, but this is, I guess if you pet this, <laughs> if you pet this, he's going to make a noise. The, this little SEAL pup will make a noise. Oh, there he goes. So here, we have it in English, SEAL robot. Intelligent robot with the best healing effect in the world. I don't know how they quantified that, but... Uh, let's go. Oh, this is also an interesting part of the home. This is actually... This is one of the most fascinating things about the home. Okay. Now, I'm going to spray water on... I'm going to spray water on this wall. And let's see. Let's go over where, where it's kind of lit up. Now, as you can see, I'm spraying a lot of water, and the wall is actually absorbing pretty much all of the water that I'm spraying on it. Now, see, it's beating up finally, but uh, it's starting to disappear. Now, this is a new building material. This is made, uh, I was told, of ceramic and plastics. And it is a humidity-controlled building material, meaning that the humidity in the in the house is basically uh, soaked up into this material like a sponge so that it's drier when it's humid outside, making it a lot more comfortable inside. Um, and apparently also in the winter when it's drier, it will give off uh, moisture uh, to make it more comfortable uh, when it's cold outside. Uh, so new material, and it's used on the zero emissions house. Kind of interesting.
there's a lot of things in this home that uh, I could show you, but it would last a long, long time. Uh, but suffice it to say that this home is a model for what we could do better. Uh, if we really pay attention to every single element of building materials and of appliances uh, that we use on a daily basis.